Good morning, brothers and sisters. We offer this Mass for our deliverance from the pandemic of COVID-19. We frontliners who unselfishly offer their services in these difficult times. For those afflicted with the virus and other diseases and those who have died. For proper guidance and enlightenment of our civil and church leaders. For those who send their private intentions for the benefactors and friends of the Basilica, and for our personal intentions. Let us now pray the angelus. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Or for to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. Through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us pray the Oracio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to, to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand. Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts since the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady of God, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman, pray for us.
Please stand. Bayan ko limang tipon Awitan ang Panginoon Sa piging sariwa ihihim Pagliligtas niya sa atin Sa piging sariwa ihihim Pagliligtas niya sa atin In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate today the exaltation of the Holy Cross, or the triumph of the cross. We venerate and honor today this cross, the instrument of our salvation. And as we honor it today, we also being led to adore the one who died on the cross, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Let us know that acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Glory to God in the highest. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks. For your great glory, Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, glory to God, glory to God, glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated up the right hand, the right hand of the have mercy on us. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to God. 
God in the highest and on earth is on earth is to be born of good will. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God, the Father, glory to God, glory to God. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace on earth, peace to people of good will. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your only begotten Son should undergo the cross to save the human race, grant, we pray, that we who have known his mystery on earth may merit the grace of his redemption in heaven through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of Numbers. With their patience worn out by the journey, the people complained about God and Moses. Why have you brought us up from Egypt to die in this desert where there is no food or water? We are disgusted with this wretched food. In punishment, the Lord sent among the people Sarah serpents who bit the people so that many of them died. Then the people came to Moses and said, We have sinned in complaining against the Lord and you. Pray the Lord to take the serpents from us. So Moses prayed for the people and the Lord said to Moses, Make a syrup and mount it on a pole. And if any who have been bitten look at it, they will live. Moses accordingly made a bronze serpent and mounted it on a pole. And whenever anyone who had been bitten by a serpent looked at the bronze serpent, he lived. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Do not forget the works of the Lord. Hearken, my people, to my teaching. Incline your ears to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter my mysteries from old. Do not forget the works of the Lord. While he slew them, they sought him and inquired after God again, remembering that God was their rock and the Most High God, their Redeemer. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But they flattered him with their mouths and lied to him with their tongues. Though their hearts were not steadfast toward him, nor were they faithful to his covenant. Do not forget the works of the Lord. But he, being merciful, forgave their sin and destroyed them not. Often he turned back his anger, and he let none of his wrath be roused. 
Do not forget the works of the Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found, found human in appearance. He humbled himself, becoming obedient to death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia. We kain mo po na kikinig ako sa iyong mga salita. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to Nicodemus, No one has gone up to heaven except the one who has come down from heaven the Son of Man. And just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, so that everyone who believes in him might not perish, but might have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world might be saved through him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate the exaltation of the Holy Cross or the triumph of the cross. The cross, formerly a symbol of punishment and death, has been exalted by Jesus as the Easter way to heaven because he died by crucifixion. The crucifixion was adopted by the Romans to inflict capital punishment on the worst criminals. It was the most painful, the most cruel, and most shameful way of dying, and it is made public. The cross was invented to pour out all hatred uh, towards the criminals, to avenge the evildoer for the terrible crime he has committed. 
For the Jews, it was a curse. For the Greeks, a scandal. That's why St. Paul in his proclamation to the pagan nation would say, we proclaim Christ crucified, a stumbling block to Jews and foolishness to Gentiles. But to those who are called, or those who believe, Jews and Greeks alike, Christ is the power of and the wisdom of God. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, Jesus was the most innocent person in the world. And why did he die on the cross? He willed to be in solidarity with all the innocent people unjustly accused, persecuted, and executed. He joined the victims of wars and all kinds of human cruelty or sufferings. He suffered with those undergoing extreme pain, the sick and the dying. He too uttered the same words of so many who said, My God, my God, why have you abandoned me or forsaken me? Oh, my God, my God, why did you do this to me? He passed through the path of death and descended into hell as we proclaim when we pray the passage creed. And from there, Jesus passed over from death to life, saving all those who have died. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, we celebrate this feast of the exaltation of the cross or the triumph of the cross. The cross has conquered hatred and has become the most authentic proof and symbol of love. The cross no longer is a curse, but a blessing. And instead of vengeance, pardon, mercy, forgiveness. Jesus did not condemn, but save. That's why we pray by his holy cross. He has redeemed the world. Also, we say, there can be no Christian without the cross. Because Jesus said, whoever, whoever wishes to come after me must deny him, his very self, take up his cross every, every day, and follow me. In this, in this life, my dear brothers and sisters, each of us is carrying our own crosses. If we follow Jesus and live by his example of love and forgiveness, we too are assured of our own victory. Let the cross of Christ overcome the hatred in our hearts Pronounce a blessing to the one you would want to curse. And so, make a sign of the cross whenever we pray and do everything in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless us all. Please stand. Let us now pray to God the Father who loved the world so much that he gave his only son to die for us upon the cross. And we pray through the power of the cross 
hear us, O Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. That the church on earth may fight and the victory beneath the standard of the cross. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. That people of every nation and culture may find freedom and peace through the one whom God raised on high. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power, the power of the of cross, cross, hear us, O Lord. That those who stand in need of God's mercy and forgiveness may find hope in the cross of Christ as a way to peace and reconciliation. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power, the power of the cross, of God, hear us, O Lord. Lord. That the sick may see in the cross of Jesus the hope of complete healing and recovery. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. That those who sleep in Christ may be cleansed of their sins through the blood of Christ's sacrifice. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the power of the cross, hear us, O Lord. O loving Father, in this life and in the next, our hope is in the cross. Grant our petitions as we praise you for your mercies through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May these oblations, O Lord, which on the altar of the cross. Cancel the offense of the whole world. Cleanse us, we pray, of all our sins through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you place the salvation of the human race on the wood of the cross, so that where death arose, life but again spring forth. And the evil one who conquered on a tree might likewise on a tree be Conquered through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, the minions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven, and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray 
join with us in humble praise as we pray. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full, are full of His glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is He who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray. Ascending down your spirit upon them to the people, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, walked in and came with his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and be of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. The wise boy gave it them. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you for many, for forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your precious and ministered to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together in Francis of Pope, Ricardo, our Archbishop, and all the clergy, remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your grace. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, his spouse, we, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, we have feasted throughout the ages. We may marry to be for heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, of glory to our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. And the Savior is performed by divine teaching with the same. Holy, our Father, Forgive 
vivas al pues haces. As we forgive those who dress us against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us, deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to you, Apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer to other the sire of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Love of God, you take away the sins of the world. Oh, oh, peace. Be still. Behold the love of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray the act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you're in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things and I long for you in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. As though you have already come, I embrace you and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, is ransom me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Permit me not to be separated from you. From the wicked foe, defend me. At the hour of my death, call me and bid me come to you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. It heave a is our hope 
in Him alone is our strength. In Him alone are we justified. In Him alone are we saved. Please stand. Let us pray. Having been nourished by your holy banquet, we beseech you, Lord Jesus Christ, to bring those you have redeemed by the wood of your whole life giving cross to the glory of the resurrection, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your the spirit. The mighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now in peace. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, see you with me. Through us, God our Father, for help in our need. Ave, Ave, Ave Maria, Ave. Ave Maria. Please kneel. Let us pray the prayer before a crucifix. Look down upon me, good and gentle Jesus, while before your face I humbly kneel, and with burning soul pray and beseech you to fix deep in my heart lively sentiments of faith, hope, and charity through contrition for my sins and a firm purpose of amendment, while I contemplate with great love and tender pity your five most precious wounds, pondering over them within me, and calling to mind the words that David, your prophet, said of you, my Jesus. They have pierced my hands and feet. They have numbered all my bones. Prayer to Our Lady of Piat. O Virgin Mary, Our Lady of the Visitation of Piat, I have recourse to you today. I do offer this day in praise and thanksgiving for past benefits and in the hope of receiving new blessings which you know I need in life. They know the rest, Mother, to shower upon us all the blessings which we need most for body and soul, particularly. And a special grace to die in God's love through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Lady of God, pray for us in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>